in this video we are going to be installing and setting up nrock in our kali linux so why do we use nrock imagine you want to show your friends something in your computer or you host a web server in your machine but you both live in different places and not on the same wi-fi network so because of the web server being in your own local host your friend cannot directly access the web server to solve that problem we can use nrock with nrock you can create a tunnel between your local web server to the internet and if you send your friend the link to the nrock your friend can also access the web server so you do not need any public ip or domain to access the web server so without further ado let's begin the installation process open up your web browser go to google and type in ngrok and press enter go to the link where it says only ngrok you can also find the link in the description box from here click sign up in the sign up page you have the way to do traditional sign up or you can sign up with google or github after the sign up you will be prompted to this page here you have different options to install on different OS. Since I'm installing on Kali Linux, I will click on the Linux. From here, I have few different ways of installing. I can install via Snap, via APT, or I can download the zip file. I will go for the third option, which is downloading via the zip file. After selecting download.zip file, click on download and wait for the download to get finished. After the download is finished, go back to your terminal, go to the downloads directory and check whether the download has been finished or not. I can see that the file has been downloaded. From here, copy this command, go back to your terminal and paste the command to extract this file under the user slash local slash bin. Type in your password for the machine and the file has been extracted to this directory. Now go back to your web browser and copy this command. This command will add your authentication token so that you can start the rock. Come back to your terminal and paste the command. Press enter and your authentication token has been saved to the configuration file. Now our installation and setting up of the Engrock has been completed. We just have to start it. I will be using the Apache 2 web server. So type in sudo systemctl start apache2 and press enter. Type in your password for the machine. I will check the status of the web server. And I can see the web server is active and running. I will come back to the browser and confirm localhost, press enter. And I can see that the web server has been hosted. Now I have to connect it to NROC so that I can send this link to my friend so that my friend can also see this website. To do that, type ngrok space http space the port that your web server is being hosted on. By default, Apache 2 web server is hosted on port 80. So I'll type in port 80, press enter, and I can see that my NROC has started. This is my web interface. I will copy this URL, go back to my web browser, paste in the URL press enter click on the link and this is my tunnel url click on the visit site and if i send this link to my friend my friend can also access this website and that is how you can connect your web server to the internet without the use of public ip or domain 